Hey guys, Gina Chan here. So in the second episode of Death Parade, we meet Nona, who is a short, white-haired girl who doesn't really look old enough to drink, but is sitting there um, drinking martinis or whatever it may be. But she's she's kind of like the behind-the-scenes person uh, during this whole like game show, if you want to call it that. Um, and and she's one of many, I'm assuming, arbiters who control, um, who are in control rather, of receiving and then bringing back memories of the deceased. And by the way that she's talking to Dekium, it kind of seems like she she's like a step above him, maybe? Because she she kind of almost talked down to him when, when she was talking about uh, his mistake towards the end of the episode. So I'm not really quite sure um, if there's like a hierarchy uh, system going on or what. And let me just say that Dekium's hobby of collecting mannequins and rebuilding them or building them from scratch, whatever he does, is pretty creepy. I mean, I, I guess it's better than having a doll collection because, well, dolls are pretty useless. They just sit there on a the shelf, but, but he, I'm assuming it's he, who actually dresses them up and they watch from behind the scenes, watch the game and people playing for not their lives because they're already dead. But we also learn in this episode that there's no such thing as heaven and hell, but rather they use these terms because that's what most people associate death with, either heaven or hell. But in reality, they are either reincarnated or sent to the void, which is just darkness, deep darkness. And I'm not sure if it's if this darkness is nothingness, where you're not really conscious of, of, you know, being, I don't know, one with darkness, <laughs> if you will. Um, they don't really go too much into that, but I guess it's more so of a mystery. So maybe, maybe in, maybe later we'll learn a little bit more, but as for right now, it's just darkness. And so this changes everything, because the wife from episode one was sent to the void for uh, for, I guess, cheating on her husband, saying the baby's not his, and all this stuff. But that's, the assistant brought up a really valid point where, um, she could be lying. She very well could be lying about, about this baby not being his, to make him feel better about killing his own baby, because he was the one who, who drove them off a cliff in the first place. Because, I mean, these games are created, or made, in order to decipher good from bad, like, good from evil, and and try to decide who, who goes where, who deserves to go uh, to the void, and who deserves to be reincarnated, but but love and death can make us do very funny things, and and what she, what uh, the wife did for her husband was very selfless. Rating this episode, I have to give it a seven and a half. It was really cool because in episode one we got to experience playing the game, and then in this episode we got to experience you know, how things work behind the scenes, and it, it answered a lot of questions. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, subscribe for more anime reviews, and go follow me on Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram. You can find all the links down below in the description. And also check out jlist.com by clicking the link down below in the description. Okay, until next time, my friends. Bye!